Hey everybody, it's David Victor with ProTributeBands.com and today I am blessed to be with the amazing John Minetti and his Moon Shadows Pink Floyd tribute show. John, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Greetings from Las Vegas, my friend. How are you? Thank you very well. Very well indeed, sir. Um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, Moon Shadows and uh, kind of what inspired you to start a Pink Floyd tribute show in the first place. Well, uh, we've been doing the show for about 10 years now. And uh, what inspired, I mean, uh, Pink Floyd is the music that uh, we all grew up with. It. I mean, you know, laying in between those two big speakers and hearing that incredible soundscape that was any Pink Floyd album. Every time a new album came out, you know, I was the first one in line at the record store. That's right, record, vinyl store. And, uh, and uh, it was just joyous to put it on the uh, turntable and and have a good listen to it we're awesome yeah i used to love to put on the, the headphones and just hear the sounds in my brain man that was cool yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now how long has the show been uh, rocking well we've been doing pink floyd like i said for about a decade now uh, okay. we're based in las vegas nevada uh which means our show is commutable to venues uh within the las vegas area but then you know anywhere between four or five hour drive out we can bring our own back line which is great for the buyer uh, most of the time. And that includes venues like, uh, you know, Los Angeles, Palm Springs, uh, some Utah venues, Arizona, Phoenix, all of those uh, markets are accessible without uh, air flight. So it makes, uh, it's kind of a great place to be based on the West Coast, although we do fly out anywhere. That's a great point. I didn't even think to ask you that before, but it, is there a do you have the ability to do flyouts if somebody really wanted you to? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely. We'll fly out. I mean, obviously, we'll, uh, we'll require some backline requirements because you can't stick a PA on an airplane, as far as I know. Or late, the well, last I was thinking I more of the production quality, right? So yeah. That, yeah. What, yeah. Any it, it super depends. that you'd fly with or have to get in back? Yeah. So yeah. there, there, there is actually some compact laser shows that you can do now that that are travelable. So it's it's uh, it's it's a unique thing. And as I've mentioned to you before, uh, David, you know the nice thing about our show is that you know we could do it for uh, a two thousand seat theater, but we could also do it for you know somebody who wants to put on something special in his backyard and he wants to bring in a stage and have the band perform. It doesn't have to always be the big production. Uh, it can just be about the music and the soundscapes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's what we like to recreate live. You know, obviously in our bigger shows, uh, the video, the synchronized video is a huge part of the show because that's what people associate with Pink Floyd or, or you know, not just the great music, but the actual production the video that sort of goes along yeah. with it. Tell me yeah. a little bit, of, if you can, about the, the band members, maybe some uh, standouts that people should uh, keep an eye out for. Uh, well, absolutely. The nice thing about being based in Las Vegas is that uh, yeah, Las Vegas is the home to some of uh, some of the greatest musicians everywhere. And, and you know, um, just for example, our keyboard player was uh, Celine Dion's keyboard player for 25 years. You know, he has a great, wow. great grasp of sounds. And, uh, you know, he works on the main stage program to absolutely recreate to a T the sounds on those albums. Uh, our vocalists, uh, I put them up there with any vocalist anywhere. As a matter of fact, our uh, our uh, female vocalist who does the uh, centerpiece of our show, Great Gig in the Sky, um, actually has sung backup vocals live with the Eagles, uh, Michael Buble. And uh, she's actually done a duet with Celine Dion uh, that's online that you can see. But she yeah, but anybody I've ever heard of, John, I mean, come on, you're rattling off these little uh, <laughs> mini acts, you know, they're a little here and there. <laughs> yeah, but I have to say, you know, I, I've seen her do it dozens of times, but even on stage, I get, uh, you know, the proverbial tingles up the spine every time she sings Great Gig in the Sky. It's a huge, huge part of our show. And uh, it's just uh, something that if you're asking me about memorable moments, that's yeah. probably one of the best. Yeah. You know, um, I don't think I even asked you that the, the whole concept for Moon Shadows and, and what it what it's all about. Well, uh, I think uh, one of the things about our show, every Moon Shadows show features um, Dark Side of the Moon album performed in its entirety, track to track, cover to cover, nice. same, just the way you remember listening to it. Um, uh, we like to do that because our fans like to hear that and we love to perform that. Uh, we'll either put it at the beginning of our show uh, and then do the best of the rest, as I call it, or we'll make it the finale. Um, as far as the other material goes, we generally draw upon the best of the wall and wish you were here albums 
uh, in addition to uh, Dark Side of the Moon. So it was some, we, we kind of bill it as an album three play, the best of the three albums with uh, Dark Side of the Moon done in its entirety. It's it's yeah. a great, great mix. We'll throw in a couple of obscure ones for good measure. Uh, but yeah. uh, the, the insiders the always love that. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, they know that one. They're cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you tell tell me a little bit about uh, maybe a particularly memorable performance that you've had recently? Oh, wow. They're all awesome. They're all awesome. But sometimes, you know, it all comes together. You know, the, the great venue, the great crew, the uh, the great video, the great audience. We did a performance recently at uh, uh, in a town called Mesquite, Nevada, which is just outside of uh, Las Vegas. And as a matter of fact, I I have the uh, the actual text right here what? that I got from the entertainment director. I'll read it to you verbatim. But again, this was just one of those magical nights where everything came together and it was just a superb night for everybody. What did he have this, to say, John? What did he have well, to say? Well, this is the text. It says it was, and I just asked, how was the feedback? She said it was absolutely amazing. And that's not a sufficient word. Perfection and superb performance. Thank you so much. Nice. And it's just nice to hear that. And those entertainment know. directors, I have to say, you know, they're they're uh, you know a little bit thrifty with their praise uh, sometimes. And, so that's and been, they've that's seen good. it all. They've seen yeah. it all, David. Yeah. You know what I mean. So if you can get that kind of that kind that's of feedback it. from the person that matters, it goes a long way. But once again, we we love the music we're performing. Every musician I pick, uh, I, I pick them not just because they're great players, but also because they love the music. They have to love the music. Mm -hmm. uh, or it just it's not authentic right. and um and i really love playing the show i know all the guys and the gals in the band love performing it and uh, it's just a joy to be doing what we do for a living super super awesome okay so moon shadows uh the uh entire dark side of the moon album plus the the greatest of the rest of uh, the material best of the, rest. the best of the rest and uh this is john minetti john thanks for hanging out with us a little bit today and telling us a little bit about moon shadows and uh if you'd like to book moon shadows head on over to the contact page and submit a request and i will put you in touch with john and uh you will have a fantastic performance thanks again john thank you all right